So, Yankees need to make some trades. I also have the lineup, tonight's nice lineup. They're playing Boston tonight. I'll, have, I'll get that out to you in a second. But we just found out a few minutes ago that Greg Allen now is going to miss six to eight weeks with a strain hip flexor. This is, Yankees can't catch a break. It's almost like some guy gets healthy, another guy goes out. Some guy gets healthy, another guy goes out. So, And the fact is, they don't need pitching. They don't need hitting. They need both. Okay? They need pitching and hitting. They've lost, I can't imagine, I mean, I can't even name the Scotty Frost, Lou Trevino, Ryan Weber now, three levers out. Um, and Esther Cortez is out. Mickey Montez is out. So, and the, 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 this team revolves around two guys, honestly. Garrett Cole and Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge is out too. So, you know, and surrounding these guys with the right personnel is va- is absolutely important. Okay? And like this is what happens too when Jan Cross Stanton comes back. He takes a while to ramp up. Josh Johnson got off to a hot start. He had a home run yesterday the other day, but he's kind of leveling off too. And I'm guessing is if he let you know if he kinds of, if he keeps stump uh, slumping or goes into a slump over the next couple of weeks, they might move on from him as well. They might DFA him and bring up one of the young kids. So I do think the Yankees need to make some trades leading into the deadline, before the deadline. At the deadline, okay. The fact is, the AL East is a monster. Teams will not all all the teams will not wait until the deadline to make trades. Teams will make moves before that as well. So, if I'm the Yankees, I'm going to be proactive and get the guys that you need. If the fits there and the trade feels good, do it. Pounce, please. Okay, let's not fall behind too much. I mean, they were five games out a couple of days, and now they're nine, back to almost where they were at ten. So. And again, you know, we're going to misjudge for a while, probably four weeks. I'm going to I'm, I'm guessing at least. Now we got six to eight weeks without Greg Allen. Just trade it for the guy. Okay. And Ryan Weber's now on a 60 day IL. That's almost 10 weeks. So, um, you know, we got some guys coming back. Yes, Harrison Bay to be back soon. Um, and who else? I mean, John Lewis is going to come back until probably September because he had surgery in the burn spur on his elbow. So, but. I can't emphasize enough the Yankees made trades. And this is why the trade videos that I'm putting out, and I still have more to go. So if you, if you enjoy that stuff and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do that so you don't miss these things. And take a look at the ones I've already put out. But this is why my trades involve hitting and pitchers because they need both. Okay, And, and some of them are reliever, uh, controllable relievers, big arms with a bunch of years. This is in case they can't get a starting pitcher Okay, because we have to be realistic. They're not going to get a number one starter for someone like Labor Torres. It's not going to happen. Okay, and you know we're gonna have to get what you can get. If you want to get a number one like Shane Bieber or somebody, you're gonna have to put up forth a massive trade, some massive trade package. So, I'm not saying it can happen. I'm not saying it won't happen. It can, obviously, but what it remains to be seen, we don't know yet. So, but they need to make trades. Okay, you know, I, I think in a couple positions they might have some personnel that could fill incredibly, but. Um, I think we need to make some trades for some major leaguers. And I think, you know, well, I want to know whether you agree with it or not. And who, who who would you trade for? And I do, I'm working on a video right now, five blockbuster trade ideas for the Yankees. So, and uh, that's coming soon. I'm not done with it yet. I want to make, just, they are big trades, bold thinking. You know, some of them might be nuts, but they're blockbuster trades. So not everybody comes up with great blockbuster trade ideas because we have no idea what the market's going to bear. So the market can be completely different a month from now. But it's still going to be fun one or the other. But with that, here's tonight's lineup against the Red Sox. DJ LeMay, who's leading off, batting second base. Josh Johnson batting second, third base. Anthony Rizzo batting third, first base. Junior Carlos Stanton cleaning up the H. Jay Bowers batting fifth in right field. Isaiah Conifalefa batting sixth in center field. Billy McKinney moving over to left field today, batting uh, seventh. Jose Trevino's back at the dish, batting eighth. And Anthony Volpe is batting ninth at shortstop. Again, Volpe still, a lot of times he looks overmatched, but then he comes up with a, you know, a clutch a hit or a clutch plate on occasion. So he's, he's still showing these intangibles that make him so special. And then if you look at the, the stats of the other short stops that they didn't sign, not many of them are playing better than Volpe. So, <laughs> so you know, they saved $250 million, and uh, which I hope they use wisely moving forward. But And on the mound tonight, is already scared cold. I mean, you know, they took him out after six innings last time. He was cramping from dehydration, so hopefully he's good to go today. And my guess is he is. Otherwise, he will probably would not be pitching tonight. So, but that's the lineup. And again, we need Judge in there, right? We need a healthy Stanton. We need Bader back in that thing. We need a lot of guys rocking and rolling. So, and that's whether we see that this season still 
we don't know yet, but hopefully, uh, you know, and it's it's pretty much it's pretty clear to the the Yankees once they're, when they're healthier, they're better, and we need some good health here. But that's the lineup. Let me know what you think, okay? And who are the guys? I mean, I know a lot of folks say, you know, Cody Bellinger and uh, some other folks here and there. I mean, some people recently made some some pretty good suggestions, but again, we don't know. I just don't know, man. I mean, I think we can all confirm that they're not going to go get Corbin Burns from the Brewers because they've already said he's not on the market unless you blow him away, and I don't think the Yankees are going to be willing to do that. Um, but, again, I hope I'm wrong there. Shane Bieber, maybe, but there's another one. You're going to have to blow him away with a package. So expect to lose some of your top prospects. And um, that's what we got. That's the lineup. See you tonight for the post game, obviously. And um, hopefully we'll be celebrating a win. We need to beat these Red Sox. Again, this is AL East territory now, playing guys in our own division. We need to put forth winning series here. So we got the Mets coming up. So it's going to be an interesting week or two. I mean, t- June's probably going to be a tough month for the Yankees, but if they can hang in there and win enough, and when these guys start coming back healthy, I think they'll be in good shape. So but let me know what you think, gang. Talk to you later.